Here we have a new 2024 Toyota Tundra. This one is an SR5 double cab with the TRD off-road premium package. Comes in the nice and shiny solar octane. And then we have the black soft text interior. For the powertrain, we get that 389 horsepower twin turbo V6. Made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission. Just a good looking truck, I think, in this solar octane. Big shout out to John Roberts Toyota for allowing me to review this truck today. I'll leave a link below in the description. But there's that front end there, LED headlamps, LED fog lights. It's a beautiful looking truck in this solar octane. Now around to the wheels here, these are gonna be 18 inch alloy. Get passive keyless entry on the front. Parts content if you're curious. Now we do get one touch automatic up and down windows on all four doors and I'm so sorry about that wind, this is ridiculous. But power door locks, power mirrors, rear window lock there. And then bottle holders in the door panel. Heated steering wheel, among other things. Pretty self-explanatory, auto stop, automatic high beams. Hood release. Then we get a manual tilt telescoping steering wheel. And here's our power driver seat with two-way power lumbar. But I have that seat up front adjusted for someone of my size being 6'3 with longer legs. And with this being a double cab configuration instead of a full-size crew cab, not too much room for me to fit in here, so I'm not gonna try and squeeze in there. But we can lift the seat up, there's storage there. And then this middle seat folds down, bottle holders are here. You have a USB-A and a USB-C charge port there, a little storage, two bottle holders. And there's a view of the front from back here. Now we do get the LED dome lights, which I like. And then we also have the nice, sturdy hook hangers there if you wanna hang your clothes or uniform, whatever. Gas cap. As we come around to the back end, LED tail lamps. And it just, in this solar octane, it really does just sparkle. It's just a beautiful, beautiful truck. Spares underneath there, exhaust. And then with this one having a six and a half foot bed, pretty good space back here. And then we have the spray on bed liner included on this one as well. Now as we come around to the front passenger seat, this is also gonna be power with two way power lumbar support. And then a lockable glove compartment here with the owner's manuals. Additional storage pocket up top here. Now y'all can pause anywhere you need to if you wanna take a closer look at this window sticker. And then we do have a sticker price of 56901 for this particular truck. But as we come back around to the front, we're gonna take a quick look in the engine bay. It's mostly covered up, but there's that twin turbo V6. And that is a 3.4 liter. People like to argue with me, say it's a 3.5, but Toyota says it's 3.4. But it's not really that big of a deal. Let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. So leather wrapped steering wheel here, looks nice, feels nice. There's the horn sound. Over here to the radio, we get AM, FM, XM, and then we also have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. And with that being said, we also have a navigation system which we can subscribe to and then get information on that. But that does cost money. You can just hook up your phone if you want. It's what we're all used to anyway, for the most part. In your general settings here, this is where you can change your language and you can take that to set automatically, take that off if you wanna go from US to the Imperial system for your 
fuel economy and all that. And then trip information, vehicle alerts, all that's in here. So a very simple screen. It doesn't flash like that. That's just how my camera's picking up the screen, so I apologize. Backup camera's there. Guidelines follow you as you turn the steering wheel. And then down here, we have the dual zone automatic climate controls, auto modes there, we can adjust fan speed, three-stage heated front seats. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory. This mode is how you change the fan direction. And again, fan speed's right there. USB-A port for charging. Traction control, toggle hazards, rear differential lock, automatic brake hold, electronic parking brake. Pretty good storage here, bottle holders are there. And then for your shifter, push this button, reverse neutral drive. Come over here, you can manually shift. And it'll show you what gear you're in in that bottom left hand corner of the digital gauge cluster there. The digital screen there, excuse me. Now over here, four wheel drive controls, just push, pull, and then for the drive modes, we can decide by hitting that button what this knob does. So that does sport, normal, and eco. And then when you go into the tow haul mode, you use that knob, tow plus, and then tow haul. So that's how you differentiate everything there. And then all of our other drive modes are here, off-road for the most part. And then the center console cubby space, we have a little tray we can move here and then we can open this up and get full access, USB-A, USB-C charge port, tons of space in there, coin tray. And up here, sunglasses holder, lights, and then the coveted sliding rear window. Now this one doesn't have a full window, but it is power to get to that middle one there. Now back to the steering wheel, blinkers, high beams, fog lights, auto, turn the daytime running lights off. And then we have our windshield wiper controls here, one time off, intermittent low, high. We can adjust that intermittent frequency here and then pull up here for that front wiper fluid. Now to the left side of the steering wheel, we can use these two arrows and then these two arrows and this okay button to go through the sub menus of the digital screen here in the middle of the, the gauge cluster. So we can decide whether we want the lane tracing system on or off, so on and so forth. And then we can also go through trailer settings and whatnot. But Bluetooth, volume, voice recognition, and then with this having the Toyota Safety Sense standard, we can turn on the radar cruise, adjust the gap for that, the lane keeping system there, and then we can adjust speed. And this mode button is to go through your audio sources. And then we can also, let me make sure it's all the way down. It always does that, so. But we can use this to go through the track list or radio station presets here. Trailer brake controller, push button start. Love having the orange push button start button, by the way, it makes a big difference. And then here's the key fob. But next, let's go ahead and take this Tundra SR5 Double Cab TRD Off-Road Premium out on the road for a test drive. So starting the test drive in this Tundra TRD Off-Road, even though this is the off-road oriented pickup, the ride quality is pretty good. It's solid but smooth course on smoother surfaces and just giving it light throttle it's pretty quiet the 10 speed shifts pretty seamlessly and the twin turbo v6 keeps the revs down accelerating unless you really want to give it throttle there and that's one of the reasons these engines do so well especially with Ford and Toyota is just because the fuel economy is much better because you don't have to necessarily use all eight of your cylinders to get up to speed. You just have the turbos to give you that boost when you need it. Otherwise, if you give it a light foot, you have that V6 fuel economy, if that makes sense. But like I said earlier, I love the solar octane 
Just a, a stunning color in person. And it does look so good on this redesigned Tundra. Now what's cool about these is they're such big trucks so you just would expect them to ride big, drive big. The hood slows down. It's just a little bit of movement going on there in terms of the shape. So just something that I noticed. It's not necessarily distracting, but I noticed it. But overall, just driving this thing is very easy to do. I just drove a 24 Tacoma before this, and the ride in that was decent, but it's pretty windy out today, and I could just feel the difference in how the Tacoma is taken by the wind as opposed to this Tundra. It's almost unfazed by it so far. And it just makes it seem that much more controllable. And when you have trailers and things of that nature, that's what you want out of a vehicle. Now, of course, this is a, uh, I drove a Tacoma SR and with this one being a TRD off-road premium double cab Tundra, this is almost 20 grand more than that Tacoma I just drove. I'm gonna recline the seat a little bit, get a better view. But if you get one of these with the, the iForce Max engines, the crazy thing is with that hybrid setup, you're not getting better highway fuel economy than the Tacoma, but you're getting about the same city fuel economy which is just wild to think of with a heavier truck, a bigger motor. But especially in stop and go traffic and having that extra power coming through a battery. It's just a, a neat setup and it's just crazy to think of. And I think that's why Ford's, I forgot what that's called, power, the power boost that twin turbo hybrid setup, and then this one here, the iForce Max. This isn't the iForce Max engine, but that hybrid engine in the Tundra. Of course, people are scared of just about hybrids and EVs in general, especially when it comes to trucks, but they're just as capable and certainly more efficient. Now we're gonna try and give this some pull getting on the interstate here. Luckily, no one's behind me, so I can give myself a little bit of space. And here we go. Now, I certainly didn't have my foot to the floor with this being a newer truck, but I gave it about 35, 40% throttle, if that. And it just got up to speed so nicely, so quickly. And the sound you get is just fantastic. Now on a windy day like today, you're kinda, you can feel yourself pinging just a little bit with this safety suite here, but it does keep you in the lines. Overall ride quality, doing interstate speeds is very good. And the wind noise, even though it's very windy out today, is not overly intrusive in the least. But I will say the similarities between this and the Tacoma I just drove are the blow off valves. They sound so, so menacing in like the best way. It's just so much fun to hear the blow off valves in these turbo trucks. But I think for the money, if the reliability holds up as it should compared to an older Tundra, shouldn't have any issues out of these in terms of just how much you're paying for them. The interest rates are high right now, but I mean, you get so much tech especially in the solar octane, you just get a, a great looking truck. 
and you get so much capability in terms of your haul figures, tow figures. But mostly for me at least, the tech is what's most impressive. Just being able to have lane centering on this truck, adaptive cruise control. Just everything is fantastic. But definitely if you're looking for a full size truck, check this one out before you go find something unless you're just loyal to your brand or whatever. But especially for the double cab setup, I just, I like how this one's specced out a lot. So this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2024 Toyota Tundra TRD Off-Road Premium.